day, everyone. My name is Nobody, and I know nothing. There is no real reason for me to chime in on this, but I do find the subject a little bit interesting. The subject, of course, being that of Elliot or Ellen Page, depending on how you choose to perceive said individual. And that, of course, is the topic of transgender, as it's called today, transsexuals it used to be called, of course, and why, at least in my opinion, why dead naming, as they, as they like to call it, is such a great offense to um, transgender individuals or those who support them. And that would come from simply looking at, for example, Elliot Page. Now, if you go to IMDb and you pull up Juno and you look at Topcast, Topcast now says Elliot Page, playing Juno McGrath, and then in parentheses, as Ellen Page. And that is what piques my interest. Because Juno McGrath as Ellen Page, played by Elliot Page, would suggest that Elliot Page is the actor, not Ellen Page. So that brings up an interesting question. Is Ellen Page merely a character? At what point do we separate from perceived reality and actual reality? Because the harsh reality is that Elliot Page was, and will always be, Ellen Page. Even though Ellen has now become Elliot. It's interesting, personally, because that suggests that Elliot has always been pretending to be Ellen. And that's where dead naming comes into play. I guess you could take it from the actor's perspective, which is why I think Elliot's a great example of this. Imagine you're an actor, and you're desperate to get movie roles, and you finally get one, but it's a terrible movie. Not only is it a terrible movie, but your acting was terrible in it as well. And now you have that stain on your ledger from now until the end of your days. No matter how you try to hide it, no matter how much you ignore it, someone will find it and someone will bring it up. Now imagine you've done everything in your power to disassociate yourself from that character you played in that terrible movie. Well, if I had to guess, this is what uh, transgender individuals feel, in particular Elliot Page. Their life, uh, previous to who they come out to be and who they claim to be, um, it is sort of like that bad movie where they were a terrible actor. To call Elliot Ellen would be to call out to, say, an aspiring movie star by the name of the character they played in that terrible movie where their acting was terrible. It's uh, you, uh, a great insult, I would assume. So I imagine... The great offense for dead naming is quite simply it's perceived to be a character that they regret playing and they hate the fact that they can't shake off the weight or the baggage that that name carries which is of course why they would change names just look at caitlin jenner for that it's amazing what you can get away with job just by changing your name however I do think it is entirely inappropriate and very wrong for dead naming to be as serious of a crime as they claim it is, because it's not a crime at all unless you've gone through every legal channel to change your name as it is, you are not who you claim to be, legally. As such, unless, which, you know what, how about, how about I look this up real quick. I see. Born 
Ellen Page. Shall we check the Wikipedia? Let's see. Many accolades. God, I love that. He was assigned female at birth. No logic in that sentence whatsoever. Absolutely stunning. Well, it seems like Ellen Page is Elliot's birth name. So, how about we check this next? Is Elliot Page's name legally changed? Ah, see? Coming out on December 1st, 2020, Page came out as a trans man. However, that is not legally binding. That's just telling people what to call you. Sort of like telling people what you want your nickname to be. Not that it matters. But I think what relates to this the most is a quote from Jim Carrey. A rather influ influential personality and voice in that sphere, it would seem. To quote Mr. Carrey, I really believe in the philosophy that you create your own universe. I'm just trying to create a good one for myself. And that sounds fine and dandy, but it it's I would have to disagree on the creation of per se a universe and more so perceived reality, which of course puts you <laughs> at odds with what is truly reality, reality being that. As terrible as this comes across in the modern day and age. Elliot Page is Ellen Page. Elliot is not Elliot. Elliot is Ellen. Legally and biologically. Because the hard truth about this un annoyingly <laughs> oversensitive topic is what separates men from women. And the reality is, is a lot. And simply changing your name and performing surgeries to alter your physical form changes nothing but outward appearance. And that's not good enough. And it wasn't before now, it's not now, and it will never be. And I think it's rather cruel to play this silly game where we tell people what they want to hear purely because we want to be, I'll say nice, because kind is not the right word for this. Because kindness can be rude. Kindness can be cruel. Kindness is helpful. Niceness is not. And by playing nice and by being nice, we have chosen to sacrifice dignity. Ours and theirs. And the core of it really boils down to, I guess, the belief of reality is what I make it. And while that's nice in theory, and while it's, I guess, somewhat applicable in terms of, I change how I think, and how I think changes how I feel, and therefore I have ch bent reality to my will. But you haven't. Nothing's changed. You, how you perceive reality has, reality itself has not. You don't see things differently. You interpret them differently. Nothing changes. Everything moves forward. And you have made nothing to change what you have done. And nothing you have done will change what is. And that's truly the sad part. The only reason I'm even making this is because I found it rather interesting that Jordan Peterson made a comment about the doctor who performed the double vasectomy on Ellen, Elliot, to remove her breasts 
in order to give the appearance that she no longer has breasts, but she is now a he, and he, quote-unquote, has pecs. But it's strange. He never, he never mentioned Ellen Page, nor Elliot Page. He merely commented on the doctor who performed the cosmetic surgery, which is strange thing to cancel someone, or to put a temporary ban on someone for, is for a doctor to discuss his opinions on another doctor. Well, I guess, in any way, case, drop the doctors. Just anyone talking about anyone. I fail to see how an opinion, a personal worldview, a perception of reality, can be so wrong, or viewed as so wrong, that it must be silenced, it must be suppressed, the person must be punished. When that opinion is merely the doctor broke his Hippocratic Oath by performing this cosmetic surgery on a person. And granted, my bias, of course, heavily leans in favor of Dr. Peterson's opinion. So, I won't deny that. That's why I agree. But it's wrong to simply say to someone, because I disagree and because I have power that you do not you deserve to have you deserve to be removed very silly very short-sighted very petulant very childlike lacking in wisdom lacking grace lacking anything remotely close to a functioning adult decision and i think that's truly the insulting part is to be told by people so childish that because your opinion goes against what I believe, therefore you deserve to not speak at all. And that is a strange thing to say to someone because tiny little tyrants in their own tiny little heads have created their own universes that they think is good. And because you dare say it isn't, you must be purged. I can't say, of course, without being something of a hypocrite, that some ideas do deserve to be silenced. Do deserve to be, sh well, perhaps silenced is the wrong word. Shunned might be a better word. Ostracized, removed, or relegated to the side because it lacks, let's just say, everything. They've created a universe for themselves but the universe lacks laws. It lacks logic. It lacks rules. They play by rules that don't exist in a reality that does not conform with everything as, as it can be act, actively and correctly perceived. Quite simply, if for whatever reason an archaeologist ever digs up the grave of Elliot Page, they will never know Elliot Page was a man. And my only problem with Elliot Page is that Elliot Page has a much easier time getting steroids to boost their testosterone than I can. And you know what? That's bullcrap, friends. Until next time, my name is Nobody, and I know nothing.